Trinityville is a community in the western part of St. Thomas with 2,895 inhabitants. It is a city located in Jamaica, about 19 miles or 30 kilometers east of Kingston, the country's capital town. Now, St. Thomas is a parish which has been faced with its own set of problems, including destabilization of the parish, no infrastructural development, flooding, you know, we have bad flooding in St. Thomas, but it's the first time in history that any St. Thomas resident has ever seen anything like this which has taken place in the parish. Now guys, take a look at this video and give me your feedback. And thank you again for subscribing to Elite Jamaica. Have a blessed day. Yeah guys, this is how it looks in Mount Lebanon. This is the Mount Lebanon main road, the Miglo road they call it. And remember I showed you this road once guys where I tell you that the river had took back its course. Yeah, I saw the river did go on with you. The river came back on the road again and it seems as if it really did some damage. I did not drive on this road when I was coming up. I actually drive on the other road and went across a small bridge. So the river kinda calmed down now peeps. Your blessings guys so yeah I've just gotten the chance to give you guys a tour a driving tour of the road from Trintyville to Marant Bay all right uh, yeah I'm not sure about the Fontil Road if I go and go through it cars are going through cars are getting stuck at the same time my car kind of high still as far as my notice uh, than the average you know the eye but I'm still not sure if I take the chance because it's either light so um yeah guys so guys, I leave where I leave out now. Yeah, yeah. I'm Tafari. That a Tafari from the video. Remember the video when we did interview Tafari? Yeah, that a Tafari. Yeah, yeah. So we are leave out now. So, road intro. So guys, this is the Trinity Bill yes, Cross Road. Yeah man, blessed man. Blessed. For real. This is the Trinityville Crossroads, guys. now it's election time guys so these orange and the green these banners signifies the two political parties the green is for the jamaica labor party and the orange is for the people's national party yeah so keep watching guys yeah guys this is the one of the gullies that cause all of that is the wall and how high this is now the tractor has already pushed off some of the things to let us make sure so people can drive. But I don't really know the sense now that if you not do the thing proper. Yeah guys, this is another section of the road that has been damaged and I saw the road look peeps the way of your drive on
Jo, šit. Ja pīpš, un es jau arī ļoti stiepu. Arī taks ir apvērk, so the mat šeit jau vērk. Yeah guys, this is another part of the road just above the Trinityville Primary School. Seems that all of the gullies are washed out on the road. I'm not sure why they left these trenches uncleaned, but yeah, that happened. Um, now, there's a lot of mud. The mud actually lets the car slide, as you notice with that car coming up. Now, the well what i've noticed after filming this is that the bulldozer had finished pushing off the mud off the road so it's actually better now they have worked on it fast but it's still muddy but you know two vehicles can pass at the moment so that's basically what's happening right now Guys, this is a Trinityville Primary School, as most of you would have known who are from Trinityville, and this is the road in front of the Trinityville Primary School. Yeah, this is how it is right now. So this is how the road is guys. Yeah. So yeah, yeah. I have gone to the Trinityville Primary School and it's the first time since I've seen the road like this. If anyone have ever seen anything like this, let me know in the comment section. Alright, and for those of you that attended the Trinityville Primary School, type Trinityville Primary in the comment section. Yeah guys, so the tractors have started to work, so now the road has been pushed off. But what I realize is that nobody now have no gate again at Trinityville. You see, nobody now have no gate because the tractor them push the mud and all of the mud is backed up just in front of the gates. I'm gonna show you that a little bit down the road guys. But this is around the rock. And uh, they started to push off dirt but it's just mud right now I'm not even if I was stuck in this guys because this is all mud as you can notice as you notice the river is coming back to normal that's how it is around here Yeah, peeps, nobody now have no gate again. The mud is just on the side of the road, so I saw them go left it. There was a gate right there. No, that one is high. Bless. 
So guys, we're heading back from Morant Bay and I'm going to show you how the road is because the rain starts fall again in the peeps and I'm not even sure if I can pass the frontal bridge because I know the river is supposed to come down back but now. So yeah, I'm going to show you how I'm going. Right now peeps, we're now on the AC of the car so you know so the heat on our work. So we have to wipe off the windscreen because I get fog up sometimes. That's it. And I saw the road still. Peeps, the rain come back, and I don't know. I'm not sure if we ever can pass the, the judge or the frontal bridge. You know. Yeah, peeps, so I kind of set up a little contraption where I think it's going to hold the phone so I can flim and drive. Alright?
we had passed earlier and they had identified us not left longer than like 45 minutes before they recognized the car they recognized that it was just the two of us so they did not have to check our ids before letting us back through okay so yeah that's about it so you now go and follow me let me show you where i go on
a while ago? Mm -hmm. Pesa rap. Mm -hmm. Pesa. guys so this is the end of york of the yard community we're now heading into the seaford community whenever time we pass these containers you will see the entrance of the seaford scheme that's the starting of the seaford community the road them still but deeps in the follow me Peeps, this is the Danvers Pen to Trinityville Main Road. This is the condition of the road heading up to the Funtill Road that they were working on the road in front of Funtill that they were working on, which was washed away. Alright, so there's a river running across that road. I'm not sure how the car will manage it. I'm also a bigger vehicle, I'm going to go, but I have a try still. Alright, so that we are doing. The camera will be a little bit shaky because the tripod now work on the dashboard. You know, so Tafari if you hold the camera with me. If you hold the camera for me. Yeah, and guys, remember you can get the Elite Jamaica merch online for sale with the link provided under this video. And uh, for those who want to help out the channel, you can also donate by way of PayPal with the link provided under this video. Alright, so appreciate you guys and thank you all for subscribing to Elite Jamaica and for watching the videos, taking time out to watch the videos. Alright, yeah, man. So the rain start falling again, they realize that. Up on the river, river dirty. When I think I should have met the truck go through the river before me, I try to dig it out more. Is it? Put keep it on the road. Keep the camera on the road. Let's go on the green pass. No, no, you can't pass me. I mean, if you run past me, I'm going to do it because I'm going to have a shot Stop me from passing me.
we are now approaching the, the front hill road where cut off by the river so make we see if we can make it go through Here peeps, we make it cross the Fontil River and Winnerstock. Alright, so uh, we are at home now and thank you all for watching. It has been a long day, trust me. I'm going to put a footage together so you guys can get it. Remember to subscribe to Elite Jamaica by clicking the red subscribe button and turn on notifications by clicking the blue bell icon so you never miss any of my updates. Thank you all for watching guys. Peace.